Welcome to Yoga On Demand. Yoga On Demand is a monthly yoga subscription plan where we meet live every Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. Eastern Time to 10 a.m. Eastern Time for a full-length one-hour yoga class. We offer different styles of yoga each day from vinyasa flow to slow flow to our strength and tone class which actually incorporates small hand weights for added muscle building as well as a yin yoga class and meditation. Can't make it to the live stream? Don't sweat it. You can sweat all you want with our Yoga On Demand archive, which holds over 80 full-length one-hour yoga classes, so you can do yoga anywhere, anytime. This plan also includes full access to our community forum, where you can meet and connect with like-minded individuals. Discuss everything in health and wellness from creativity, intuition development, mindfulness techniques, cooking recipe shares, home design and entertainment, and even have a place to share any questions you may have or experiences you'd like to share along your wellness journey. At RenelB.com, we eat well, live well, and be mindful together. Now let's get ready for class. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, welcome to your vinyasa flow class. Um, please let me know in the comment section if you can hear me properly. I'll be asking this every morning now just to make sure that we're off to the right foot. Um, and then we're going to start our vinyasa flow today in a wide-legged child's pose. So you can come down, draw the soles of the feet out, or sorry, draw the knees out wide, the, uh, the toes touch, send the hips back, reach the arms forward, and then rest your forehead down on the mat. Allow the elbows and forearms to come down. Soften through the hips, relax the belly and shoulders. And begin to soften down onto your mat. Start to tune into your body, tuning into your natural breath. And together we're going to start to deepen our natural breath. So breathe in through the nose, coming into that deep belly breath, expand your belly down towards the ground and allow the breath to fill the entire lung as you breathe into the top part of the lung all the way up to the collarbone and hold it there. And then slowly exhale, release the air from the nose, soften the chest down first. And then slowly release the air from the belly. Hold it at the end of the exhale. Inhale, expand the belly up. Move the breath up the rib cage towards the collarbone. Hold it at the top. And exhale, slowly soften the chest down first. And then release the air from the belly. Hold at the end of the exhale. Inhale, expand the belly for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Exhale, lower the chest down first for five, four, three, two, one, hold at the end, inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold, exhale for five, four, three, two, 
one hold and continue moving with this counted breath deep belly breath and if you like you can start to practice your ujjayi breath by constricting the back of the throat with the tongue and this will create a beautiful wave-like sound which you can then follow throughout your practice and use it as your anchor or pillar um, of concentration With every exhale here on out, begin to soften the body more and more into the mat, releasing any tension that lies in the body, mental body or emotional body. At this point, begin to set an intention for your practice today. Always ensuring that you cultivate love in your heart and loving emotions in the body when you begin setting any intention, whether it's for your yoga practice or other intentions that you may make for yourself off the mat. Always call your heart forward and your higher self to help guide you. And take five more deep breaths here, maybe enhancing the length of your breath increasing the count by one on both the inhale and exhale On your next inhale, slowly make your way back up into your tabletop position, stacking your wrists, elbows, and shoulders, knees under the hips. Curl your toes under, press the hips up. We're going to come into our downward facing dog. 
And take a moment here to pedal out the feet, shift the hips side to side. Moving in a way that feels good in the body. Maybe coming into a bit of a three-legged dog on both sides. And then once you've arrived, find stillness in your down dog. Shut down the eyes and just breathe here. Look forward to the front of the mat on your next inhale. Take small steps to make your way to the front of the mat. Fold over the legs when you arrive. Feet are hip width apart. Ground down through the toes. Relax the head. Relax the neck. Maybe shake it out. And your hands can dangle towards the ground or you can grab hold of opposite elbows or you can interlace your hands behind the head and neck. Just allowing the natural weight of the hands to enhance the stretch behind the neck and help decompress the spine, but not actually adding any additional pressure. Take three more breaths here. Slowly release the hands back down to the mat if they're lifted. Ground down through all ten toes. Bend both knees generously and start to ragdoll your way back up to stand. Let your head be the last thing to come up, moving one vertebrae at a time. When you arrive, find that nice stance by drawing even distribution of weight in all both of your feet, all ten toes. Draw your shoulders up and back, shoulder blades come together, drop the shoulders away from the ears, palms face forward to the front of the mat. Shut down the eyes for just a moment. Bring your intention back to the forefront of your mind. And begin to cultivate love in your heart. Feel that loving emotion wrapping your entire body each cell of your body with beautiful, warm, loving energy. Feel that energy magnetizing. And on our next inhale, we'll begin. Sweep the arms up overhead, palms touch, lengthen, keep the ribs in, exhale, forward fold. Bring your hands to your shins, pressing them firmly there. Draw your forehead to the front of the room. Exhale, fold deeper into the legs. Bend both knees, ground down through the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, draw the hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms touch, lengthen. Keep the ribs tucked in. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Hands to shins, inhale, send the crown of the head forward, lengthen, exhale, folding deeper into the legs. Bend both knees, ground down through the feet, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to add on, inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch, lengthen, maybe a back bend this time. Exhale, release the hands, swan dive forward, fold. Halfway lift on the inhale, nice flat back. 
Exhale, fold deeper into the legs. Ground down through the hands. Step your right leg back. Drop your right knee down. Send your chest through the arms, high on the fingertips. Reach the crown of the head high. Move here, waking up that right hip. Ground down through that left foot. Inhale, low lunge. Sweep the arms up. Send the hips forward. Exhale, dive the hands to frame that left foot. Curl your right toes under. Pick up the back knee. Pivot the right heel so that the right toes point to the long edge of your mat. Sweep your right arm up. Hold it here. Breathe in. This time, inhale, sweep that right arm all the way up warrior two. Ground down through the outer edge of your right uh, foot. So on the pinky toe side of your foot. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Left arm comes down, right hand sweeps to the front of the room. Draw your left hip to the center of your mat. Stack your right hip on top of the left. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands to frame that left foot. Turn your right toes to face the front of the mat and step back into your plank pose. From plank, shift forward past the fingertips. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, curl the toes down dog. Look forward. Step that left foot forward and then the right foot forward. Feet are hip width apart and fold over the legs. Bend both knees. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale, nice flat back. Exhale, fold deeper. Ground down through the hands, step your left leg back. Drop the left knee down. Find space in that left hip. Move around. Make sure your right knee and ankle are in alignment. Stacked one on top of the other. Ground down through the right foot. Inhale, low lunge, sweep the arms up. Thumbs roll back, pinkies forward. If you're enjoying this class, consider supporting my work and join Yoga On Demand for $30 a month and watch this full class without any interruptions. With this membership, you'll also gain five weekly live yoga classes every Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. Eastern Time to 10 a.m. Eastern Time, as well as a community of like-minded individuals with full access to our community forum. Check the description box below for more information and website links. Now let's get back to class. Breathe here. Exhale, lower the hands to frame that right foot. Curl your left toes under, pick up the back knee. Pivot the left heel so that the toes point to the long edge of the left side of the mat. Left hand sweeps up. Breathe here. Inhale, pull yourself up. Warrior two on the other side. Reverse on the inhale. Inhale, warrior two. Side angle on the exhale. One breath here. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands to frame that right foot. Step back into your flank. Shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bring your toes to touch, look forward, step that right foot in between the hands, step your left foot forward, separate tracks with the feet, and fold. Bend both knees, inhale, reach the arms up overhead, exhale your hands to heart center, inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch, exhale, swan dive forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold deeper into the legs. Ground down through the hands, step your right leg back. High crescent lunge this time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Hold it here. 
separate tracks with the feet, bend generously through that left knee, sink into your warrior or your high crescent lunge a little bit more. From here, pivot your right heel, warrior two, open up. Reverse on the inhale. Exhale, come to your side angle. Reverse on the inhale, hold it here. Breathe in. Pivot your left toes to face that long edge of the mat. Bend into your left knee, hover your right toes off the ground. Shift over to the right side, keeping the hips low. Left toes hover off the ground. Shift to the left as you lift your right toes off the ground. One more time to the right. Hold it here. Bring your right hand past the right foot. Left hand sweeps up. Send the hips low. Walk the hands to frame that left foot. Curl your right toes forward. Send that left foot back, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and stack open the hip. From here, draw that left heel high. Step your left foot towards, or sorry, draw your left knee towards your chest. Lift that left knee higher and then step it forward. Extend that left leg straight and fold over that left leg. Ground down through your right hand, either on a block or the mat or high on your fingertips. Left hand sweeps up. So this time our right heel is okay to be lifting. Take one more breath. Lower the left hand back down to frame the left foot. Walk the hands forward. Bend through your left knee in a crescent lunge. And then step into your warrior three. Hover that right leg. Hands to your heart. Nice square hips. Drop that right hip down. Reach the arms forward. Breathe. Take two more breaths. Hands to your heart. On the next inhale, draw that right knee in towards your chest, nice and controlled. Left hand to your right knee, right hand sweeps back behind you. Inhale back to center. Send that right heel back again. This time, stack your right hip on top of the left coming into your half moon. You can use a block under your left hand or maybe hover that left hand an inch or two off the ground. Flex your right heel to the back of the room. Lift that right arm higher. Bend your standing leg with control. Step back into your warrior two. Lengthen with that left hand. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands to frame the left foot. Pivot the right toes forward and step forward to the front of the mat. Fold when you arrive. Bend your knees. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up, palms touch. Lengthen, maybe back bend. Exhale, release, swan dive forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale. Nice long spine. Exhale, fold deeper into the legs. Ground down through the hands. Step your left leg back. High crescent lunge on the inhale. Holding it here. Bend generously through that right knee. Send the hips forward. Nice long spine. Inhale, open up where you're two. Reverse. Side angle on your next exhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Hold it here. Pivot your right toes to face the long edge of your mat. Bend generously into your left knee. This time, hover the right toes off the ground. Come over, walk your hands to the right, 
Hover the left toes off the ground. Walk your hands back to the left. Hover the right toes. Back to the right. Hover the left toes. Right heel is down. Come to the left, hold it there. Hover your right toes, lower that left heel. Left hand passes that left foot. Right hand maybe sweeps up. Draw that right shoulder back. Breathe in. Slowly creep the hands to frame that right foot. Pivot your left toes forward. Three-legged dog, send that right heel high. Draw your right knee towards your chest. Lift that right knee nice and high. Step it through the hands. Nice and controlled movement. Lengthen that right leg. Folding over it. Grand down through the left hand, either high on the fingertips or on a block. Right hand sweeps up. Lower the right hand back down. Look forward, bend your right knee. Step into your warrior three hands to heart. Drop that left hip down. Left toes should be pointing towards the mat. Reach your arms forward, breathe here. Take one more breath. With control, draw your left knee in towards your chest and come to stand. Right hand to your left knee, left hand reaches back. Inhale, come back to center. Come back into your warrior three. This time, stack that left hip over the right, open up the arms. Maybe use a block under that right hand or hover it an inch or two off the ground. Flex your left toes. Sending your left heel back. And really focus on stacking that left hip over the right. Take one more breath. And then bend your standing leg. Step that left leg back. Warrior two. Reach the right hand forward. Reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands to frame that right foot. Step it forward. Fold when you arrive. Bend your knees. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms touch. Exhale, ground the hands to your heart. Ground out through the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Palms touch. Lengthen, maybe a back bend. Exhale, release, swan dive forward fold. Halfway lift on the inhale, nice flat back. Exhale, fold deeper into the legs. Ground on the hands, heel to your feet to touch. Toes touch, heels touch, bend both knees. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Send the hips low, tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your glutes. Breathe here. Bring your hands to your heart, right elbow to your left knee. Twist to the left. Draw your thumbs towards your sternum. Left elbow points up to the sky. Inhale, back to center with the hands and chest. Left elbow to the right knee. Twist to the right. Once again, aiming your thumbs to rest on your sternum. Right elbow points up, send the hips low. Inhale back to center, right elbow, la uh, right elbow to the left knee, twist, gaze down at your mat, hover your right heel off the ground, ground down through your left toes, spread them nice and wide. From here, hover your right foot an inch off the ground, just lift it an inch. With control, step your right leg back, separate traps with the feet, you're in your twisted crescent lunge. Twisting a little bit deeper. 
Maybe opening up your arms in that T-shaped position. Inhale, twisted crescent lunge. Left hand comes to the back of the right thigh. Left hand sweeps back. Bend generously through that right knee. Maybe your right hand walks to your, sorry, your left hand walks to your right shin. Maybe even to the ankle. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open up warrior two. Maybe widen your stance a bit. Reach your left hand forward, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle. Left forearm to the left thigh, right hand sweeps to the front. Inhale, unsupported this time, sweep your right hand to the front of the belly, left hand back. Exhale, unsupported side angle, left hand comes to the front of the left, uh, in front of the belly, right hand sweeps to the front of the room. And keep moving like this side to side, keeping that bend through that left knee. Take one more breath. Reverse your warrior. Lengthen that left leg. Pivot your left toes to the outer edge of the mat. Bend through that right knee. Lift the left toes off the ground. Shift your hands to the left. Hover the right toes off of the mat. Keep your hips nice and low, not creating a rainbow. Shift back over to the right, hover the left toes. Shift back over to the left, hover the right toes. Over to the right and hold it there. Right hand passes that right foot, left hand sweeps up. If you want, you can practice a bind by bringing your right hand to wrap around the outer edge of that right uh, knee, left hand sweeps behind you, maybe grab hold of your hands, draw that left shoulder back, breathe here, release the bind, open up, walk the hands to frame that left foot, send that left heel high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and stack open the hip. And then square everything off. Send that left heel high, squeeze that left glute. Exhale, left knee to chest, nice and high. Three-legged dog on the inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, send it back up. Exhale, knee to chest, hold it there. Lift that left knee high, puff up through the upper back. Step your left foot forward. Send the hips back as you lengthen over that left leg and fold there. Maybe hover the left toes off of the mat. Right hand grounds down, left hand sweeps up. Your toes are either off the ground or grounded into the earth. Lower the left hand back down. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Drop the left toes back. Pivot your right toes forward. Right hand sweeps up. Generous bend through that left knee. This time, maybe practicing our side angle bend, your right hand, or bind, sorry, your right hand can come behind the low back, and maybe it grabs hold of the inside of that left thigh, inner thigh. Maybe from this point, that left hand is released, it wraps underneath the left thigh, wraps around the hip, and grabs hold of the other hand. Send the hips to center, draw the right shoulder blade back. Stack your right hip on top of the left, and gaze up at the sky. Maybe even lengthen that left leg. If your left leg is lengthened, bend it again. 
hold it here, release the bind, right hand sweeps up, lower the right hand down, pivot your right toes forward, step into your warrior three, right foot hovers, hands to heart, ground down through that left foot, maybe reach your arms forward. Breathe here. Nice long spine. Hands to your heart. Crescent lunge. Or sorry, half moon. Stack your right hip on top of the left. Right hand sweeps up. Maybe you're hovering that left hand an inch off the ground. Drop the left hand down. Drop the right hand down, send that right heel high. Standing splits. Thank you for tuning into today's preview yoga class. If you'd like to watch this full length one hour yoga class with Renelle B, please make your way to renelleb.com and sign up for Yoga On Demand. Check the description for more information and website links. Yoga On Demand is a monthly yoga subscription plan where we meet live every Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. Eastern Time to 10 a.m. Eastern Time for a full length one hour yoga class. We offer different styles of yoga each day from vinyasa flow to slow flow to our strength and tone class, which actually incorporates small hand weights for added muscle building, as well as a yin yoga class and meditation. Can't make it to the live stream? Don't sweat it. You can sweat all you want with our Yoga On Demand archive, which holds over 80 full length one hour yoga classes, so you can do yoga anywhere, anytime. This plan also includes full access to our community forum where you can meet and connect with like-minded individuals. Discuss everything in health and wellness from creativity, intuition development, mindfulness techniques, cooking recipe shares, home design and entertainment, and even have a place to share any questions you may have or experiences you'd like to share along your wellness journey. At RenelleB.com, we eat well, live well, and be mindful together. I hope to see you there. I'm sending you all so much love and light your way. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll catch you later.